Yo, this is good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing on the how-tos. I'm gonna get all this going for y'all when Spark and Joe drops and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be getting all the tutorials and good, and good things. But this is my cross versus tutorial because even in the video that I posted, not saying that you guys didn't understand it, but I think that a lot of you may have understood but want a more visual representation than I may have gotten with just a B-Roll. So I figured I'd use this time to actually go in with you guys and show you guys how to actually play cross versus and talk you guys through what i do in the game and all that good stuff so without further ado please leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new we're on the road to 1k guys we're almost to 1k subs i appreciate this all the likes and all the support you guys have been showing me please 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 let me let me get to 1k i just want to get 700 by the end of this month but 1k before Sparky Zero drops would be great, but by the end of the year is my goal. So uh, just letting that be known so you guys can actually, you know, know my goals for this channel. With that being said, cross versus. We're going to go ahead and hop into a... We're just going to hop into it, man. I'm not going to waste any time. I'll hop into a match. See if we can find a quick one. We cannot. Usually the search is... I don't know. I think it's really a Xenoverse server thing because usually if you just do this, you can find a, a, a quick match or somebody playing the game. And even if you hit quick match, it won't put you in a quick match. Like, I don't, I don't really I don't really understand. It's, it's weird. This is just how I play. It's not necessarily how you have to play. There are... What I will explain here and give you guys a rundown is there are three types of players for this game. The fighter, the gatherer, and a person that's good at fighting uh, giants or bosses. What this does is you're going to have a plethora of things to do. You can fight an NPC or you can crystal gather or crystal hunt or break the crystals or find different st stuff to gain points. Or the other person can go in and when the boss is ready and defeat the boss or help do either or. There's so many things that you can do in this mode that it tailors to all different types of play styles. You don't have to be a combative person. You don't have to be good at the game for real. You don't have to be like, you know, sweaty. You don't have to be any of that. You just have to know how to gather points. It's right here. So what what he's doing right now. So what we're doing, he's 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 fighting them, right? So what I'm doing is I'm going for the most points. And the, mo the way they get the most points is to go for these crystals. Now. It is hard to do the beat them by uh, using your basic attack, basic attack. So I recommend key explosion as a good way to like use um, like key blast supers. You see, he's, he's on me now. But yeah, I'm gonna let my teammate fight. There's no reason to to, to fight. I'm gonna let my teammate fight. I'm transformed. Uh, oh, by the way, Super Saiyan God is gonna be the ideal uh, transformation for this. So, so we get 200 points for breaking those crystals, guys, and you get 10 points each for collecting these uh, little uh, crystals. So now we're at level two, and our our skills is leveled up. We get an uh, increase in our power, and we get to actually uh, use more key and stamina. And so I'm gonna find another crystal here and finish the job that he started. Boom, boom, right? So as we're racking up points, you see we're racking up points. The other team is doing good as well. It's not just, you know, not just us. Now, these exclamation points right here are your ultimates. These are what you're going to want to pick up as you see them. Um, and you can mix and match them how you how you please. Now, defeating the NPCs. You're probably saying like, well, what happens if you do fight? What happens if you do defeat the NPCs? Well, we're, we're going to show you. When you do defeat and fight the NPCs. And that's, that's me, yeah. Let's just take them out. All right, you get 350 points. That's why I, I say for like fighters, if you don't want to stress that, don't go for that. But to get the most points, you do want to take out the NPCs and the NPCs do get harder. So don't don't be so adamant on like, um, oh, these, these are easy. Nah, they, they get harder. They do get harder. So all that being said, uh, Supernova Cooler, I'm just going to launch this on this crystal here. That did literally nothing. That did nothing at all. But you see how his health gone up? Like, they increase. They get harder as you go. So you don't want to be mindful of that. Unless you're not, you know. Unless you're really good. Obviously, if you're really good, I say you're the person who needs to be doing this. All right. I'm pretty decent. Wouldn't say I'm really good. But I'm pretty decent. All right. Here we go. Now we're at level three. Now, we are doing good on pacing, but our problem is we're not... Oh, never mind. Our teammates, whatever they're doing, are are doing good. So, we are 1,000 points to unlock the boss. So, let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. Now, we're the, now that we are level... Uh, what do you call it? Three? 
That was that was actually good. That was actually good. That was good. That was good. All right. So we got 200 points for that. We need 1,000 more points. So it, it, while they're fighting them, I can actually go out and help. So like, if you want to go help your teammate, that'll do a lot because as they're like low, you get more points. All right. So enemy KO'd. He was wait 110. I, I ain't gonna lie. That's a little anomaly there. I didn't I didn't think it would give you less for, for some reason. I, so apparently they don't, they don't always give you uh, 350 points. Hmm. Didn't know that. But the other ones do. Oh, did he just perfect block me too? Oh my, okay. Like I said, they get harder. All right, so now the boss area is open. Now, be careful. I personally do not recommend going for the boss if it is a giant. For me personally, I recommend going, and it needs to be somebody that can actually stay alive. Not somebody that can necessarily fight, but stay alive as well. Hold on, I'm trying to get away from, um, and go to my, and go to my boss. Hold on, wait. Okay, there we go. This is our boss area. Let's see who is available. Now, something else you can do is you can go into other people's boss areas and fight them. Um, so yeah, it's Cell Max. That's a done deal. That's a done deal. I'm sorry. You won't catch, no. Cell Max is the hardest boss to defeat. To defeat. I, unless you have like Super Spirit Bomb or something, I don't, I don't recommend doing it. Again, you don't get your own ultimates, so it's gonna be hard. We're gonna go try and see if the other boss area is left. Their boss area is unlocked. Let's see if they're trying to do it. Now, what I like to do though is if the opponent is in their boss area, I like to use their boss against them. So you're gonna see if this if they're in this area, you're gonna see how that works. Okay, they did not come to this boss area. So it looks like they're trying to stay inside and actually so some people actually do that. They don't go to their boss area and they actually stay out and try to collect the points out there because it may be easier. So let's go ahead and focus on doing that while they're doing that. Because we haven't leveled up yet, and that would be something that we need to do. While I'm over here flying around and shit. All right, here we go. 200 points on the dot. Let's go. Make it happen. What was that? Wait, what was, it? What was that? I'm trying to see what it was. Scatter coming out. I mean, I guess... And then we'll switch it with this. All right, we gotta help them. We're gonna help them because the more I guess I think the higher the, the level the opponent or whatever, the more points you get. Maybe let's see. Like I said, I haven't done it so extensively, but I have played it a bit, and I think I have a good understanding of what it is. So I hope you guys took this video uh, to liking and and you know. So we all have to get to level seven right, now. Again, I'm gonna go check that. Hold on. I'm gonna go check that uh that gate. Let me see if they let's see if they're there. All right, and as your level increases, your uh, health and stuff increases and stuff as well. Give me your key. So we focus on leveling up. They are not in the boss level, but what this does is it does give me time to charge up and give me a little uh, breathing room, so we can get back in there and help our teammates like we do were, were just doing. So like I said, you could there's so many different ways you can you could play this. So many different ways you could. Just focus on the crystals. You can do everything you want to do, honestly. Honestly. So it's uh for me, it's a nice idea. I just don't think they executed it really well, in my personal opinion. It is is the reason why it's probably uh it's not as played as people might have expected it to be. So, but for me, it's it's a fun thing to uh to get into every now and then. The, the fact that I don't play it is actually refreshing to play because I play the same modes so it's um it's different like, different splash of life or whatever 450 uh points for that one and we are almost done but it looks like they're creeping up on us and oh my i don't know what happened they must have got the most points oh my god they're creeping up on us you can tell you can tell everybody was kind of just doing their own thing though so like i said get a group together get a cohesive unit together we did not get that win unfortunately but that was just a showcase how it works. Usually when you win, you get about 500 to, somebody said 800 glory points. So that's a lot. So make sure you guys are doing that. If you guys like this, because the gist of this video wasn't really to win. It was to make sure you guys understand the game, understand how to play, understand what you can and cannot do. And I hope you guys took from this and I will leave you off with that. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. We'll get on some more Xenoverse 2 content. Peace.